Oh, no, no sneeze. Oh, there's a sneeze coming. What's going on, guys? Look, my face. My face is in the video. What's up? Fan squad? YOLO? Oh, Whack me out, bitch! So I wanted to talk about something, and I've kind of talked about this before, lightly, eh? But I have talked about it. It was more about card placement, as I discussed before, and then it kind of dabbled into what I'm about to talk about. But that is bluffing in Yu-Gi-Oh! So I've made this comparison before, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of like poker, because it's not because it's just a card game. Because in poker, you want to make your po opponents make you feel like you have something uh, so they either back out or um, you make them feel like you have something less so they keep betting higher and they think you're fibbing and then you do have something or vice versa and you don't have shit and you're still and you outbid them and then they back out and you win the pot. It's kind of the same with Yu-Gi-Oh. You want to make your opponent think you have something that you either really don't or you kind of make them want to think you have something that you really do depending on what situation. Now bluffing does not always work because sometimes, especially more skilled players, will either call your bluff or attack into you and not give a shit uh, and just try to gain advantage, which I've noticed a lot in this game. Before, back in the day, people were more hesitant with back row, but nowadays, even if somebody buddy, uh, sets three, they'll still completely do their whole play and they'll still attack you no matter the back row. So bluffing does not, I wouldn't say it doesn't help, but it's not as good as it used to be. Now you'd be like, well, David, now the video's already over. You already said it. Well, they're still as definitely used to it because besides placing your cards down, which I've already discussed about card placement, there is also uh, physical features of bluffing. And I'm going to go over those a little bit because some people, when you play in real life, really suck. All right, so if you're playing in real life and you need to draw, and you draw into a card, do not draw into and go, ho! Oh, that's nothing. Now, which most people already know, but man, I'll tell you what, sometimes you see people that don't think they're doing it. Um, pro players, pro, are really good at this. They, um, when they draw a card, they draw, a lot of people are good at just drawing cards and not saying anything. But there are some people, some people that have given takeaways, and if you're one of those people, I would practice on this, if you draw a card, they might not make a big face like, whoa, like, you know, make it like Yu-Gi-Oh, like, I've drawn my card, Kaiba! But... They draw a card and they just they kind of stare at it and go, hmm, in a second. That is already a giveaway of something that they might have been about to play or something good that they've had in their hand and should make you worry. Once again, do you see many people do this and does it matter online? No, because you don't see faces. But people have given ticks. And the idea about bluffing is you don't want to have anything. Even if you're really doing really good or doing really bad, show no emotion. Because that is the best thing you can do. Which, once again, this might be a, like, given thing, but there are still some people, even people that are seasoned players, that once in a while might just have a tick or something that just kind of shows that they're not either happy with what they got or they are really happy with what they got. And if you have to play that player, you're allowed to know that one thing. But sometimes even it just, like, given feeling can give you something. When I draw, I keep my hand down. And I draw a card, and I put it down. So I, I play weird to other, some people. I started doing this uh, a while ago. I can, I'm standing up here a little bit so you can see it. So, okay. In the beginning of a duel, I draw uh, uh, five cards out, okay? Whether I'm first or second, it doesn't matter. And then until, but if I'm second turn, I draw five cards, I don't even look at them. Why? Because unless if I know I'm a playing a hand trap that is going to be effective that turn, like Effect Failure or Maxi, in my deck, I don't look at my hand. If I play those cards in the deck, then I'll look at my hand. But usually, I just leave it open, let my opponent play my turn, and I draw a card, leave, and then when it comes to my turn... I place another card down into that hand, wait a second, and then I pick it up, and I just look at it. I don't say, oh, man, bad hand, or say, oh, I just take it my hand, unless I'm playing with a friend. If I'm playing with a friend, then yeah, I'll be like, man, my hand sucks. But if I'm just playing with a person that I just, I want to win competitively, I draw those cards out, and I pick them up, and I make no emotion. I look at them, play whatever I'm playing. I summon a card, face down, and turn. Do not show or look anything. I try not to even look at the specific card I draw, because if you do that... When you put your hand, all your cards down, which this might just be me here, but you have all, because I play poker a lot. I like poker, and I'm used to keeping my cards down in poker and just barely looking at them and remembering what I had. And I try to do that in Yu-Gi-Oh. I just try to remember what I have without looking at my hand. So looking at your hand can sometimes give away a card that you might want to give away if you're not shuffling your hand a lot, even though competitive Yu-Gi-Oh players are fucking obsessed with shit. Fucking obsessed with shit. <laughs> Once again, just my thought, but if you have... If you're your first or second turn, draw your card and lean face down and don't look at them because it doesn't give any specific thing away. And if your second turn, draw your sixth card, put it face down, and then shuffle your cards up. Like, I can't explain it because I don't want to have my cards and I'm not literally going to go make get my deck and make a separate thing. 
So you have six cards laid out, and I swipe them up with one hand and kind of shuffle them in the process so your opponent can't really see what was on top. I just look at my cards. Now, some people might think that's completely pointless, but to me, I feel like it helps a little bit of degree. Now, obviously, this is not a main point in Yu-Gi-Oh! It all it depends on how good you are, the deck you're playing, how you built your deck, other things like that, and how you play, but I feel like giveaways can sometimes determine what your opponent plays and what he does to you. So that's why I like... I feel like that's a big aspect, is keeping a poker face, which everybody already knows how to, mostly knows what to do already, blah, but some people also have giveaways, and I feel like drawing is a big thing. Sometimes people look too specific at a card. A lot of people do just draw one card and they add it to their hand, but I also don't like to do that because I don't want to focus on a specific card when I lift up my hand, so I, that's why I like to add the card, put my cards back down on the ground, add a card to there, and then slide up my card and pick it up so my opponent kind of doesn't keep track of where the card's placed. So if I stay focused on one card too much, that's not necessarily the new card. I don't know, that's just my take on it, and bluffing, I know it wasn't really great into detail, but like once again in Yu-Gi-Oh, bluffing is only like a very side part, you, uh, poker is more about bluffing, but I, there's definitely a bluffing mechanic. So let me know down below what you guys think about bluffing, do you think it's important, do you think it's necessary, do you think it's something that is really involved, I mean obviously I think we can all agree that going holy shit on my one card is a really bad idea, but hey. That's just me. I'll see you later, guys. Peace. Damn.